Okay, so let's take a look at this question here. What is algebra? So for a lot of people, this word algebra is just a t terrible word. You know, it probably means a nightmare in some language. <laughs> I'm not sure which which uh, language, but you know, a lot of people hate algebra. And they, and they think back, especially adults, they look back and they go, oh, that was the worst part of my high school uh, years was taking algebra. It didn't make any sense to them. You know, not, not for everybody, but for a lot of folks. And and for a lot of people who do take algebra, it's just a bunch of like things you got to memorize and everything else. So, you know, when you're young or when you don't really like it, you know, of course, it's not going to make a lot of sense to you. What I'm going to try to do real quick, in a real fast video here is just kind of talk about the real core essence of what algebra is about. And then maybe highlight some, some uh, kind of key core skills that you're supposed to get out of studying algebra. Okay, so if you're taking an algebra course or um, going back to school learning this stuff, I think this would be an important video just, just to put things in context uh, to what you're trying to accomplish when you're studying algebra. All right, so what is algebra? Well, let me kind of start um, with a basic example of arithmetic. So let's say we had 2 plus 3 equals 5, right? So everyone says, oh yeah, 2 plus 3 equals 5, no problem. <clears throat> and what you're doing and what we're doing here is we're adding numbers, okay? So we add two numbers, we get an answer. Well, if I replace these numbers with just uh, letters, okay, or symbols, and I go x plus 3 equals 5, well, this is an example of um, arithmetic. Arithmetic, I'll just kind of abbreviate in here. And this is an example of algebra, okay? The whole idea of algebra... Basically, the way I like kind of like to think about it is algebra is essentially doing arithmetic, okay, doing this kind of stuff, 2 plus 3 equals 5. But in algebra, what we do is we use variables, okay? So we use variables like x here to represent a number. And that is the kind of the main thing here. So in arithmetic, if you think back to when you were in, you know, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, what were the things that, let's say, two, let's take our example, two and three. Okay, so what could you do with two and three? Well, you can do these number operations with two and three. You can add them, right? So two plus three, you can subtract them, two minus three. Uh, let's see here. You can divide them, two divided by three. And then, of course, we can multiply them, two times three. So now, instead of two and three, Let's uh, make up, or let's have some variables here that represent some number. They're just the placeholders for numbers. Okay, so let's say x and y. All right. Now you're saying, well, okay, now I'm already lost because this is you're talking about algebra. What's x and y? X and y <clears throat> are simply just a any two numbers that you want them to be. Okay, so let's say x could be, I don't know, pick a number. Let's say ten and y could be three, okay? Or y could be, let's make a different number, let's say seven, right? But the beautiful thing about algebra is that these variables, okay, are just, they're kind of like um, boxes that we can we can put anything uh, in them, okay? Any number you want. Okay, so we're, now we're just talking about a placeholder for a number, but with, with when we have these letters or these variables, they represent numbers, so if you're thinking about it, well, x and y actually represent some sort of number. So we can still do the same thing with them that we did with uh, these two numbers over here when we studied arithmetic. So we can go, all right, x plus y. We can add those two variables. We could subtract them. Okay, we can divide them. Okay, and we can multiply them. And in algebra, the notation <coughs> for multiplication is a little bit different. All we have to do is just write the two letters together just like that x that means x times y okay so that's just a little kind of uh, minor uh, notation thing in algebra that you learn but you know right here if i said okay z plus g and you're like oh z plus g what does that even mean well just to think about that that just means one number plus another number now that could, I could write x plus y, or I, I can write any symbol I'd like. It could be r plus t, r plus t, and it still means one number plus another number, okay? And it, you, you can have those numbers represent anything you want them to represent, okay? So 
I think the biggest thing that I want you to take away so far in this video is that algebra is nothing but arithmetic. Everything you've done from kindergarten up to probably like say the fifth grade, everything you're doing then, okay, you're going to redo in algebra, but this time instead of using numbers, we're going to start using placeholders for numbers, which are called variables. Okay, so let's talk about some of the <clears throat> other type of things that you learn in algebra. A big, huge thing that we study in algebra are equations. Okay, so let's go back to our example here. 2 plus 3 equals 5. All right, so if you remember back like in the first grade, you probably did a problem like this. Box plus 3 equals five and you know you'd sit there and your teacher would be like hey what what plus three is going to give you five is the answer and you, you know you think about it scratch your head and you're like uh you know counting your fingers you're like oh yeah that would be two and of course you no know, you'd be super happy you know and you get like five stars for the day and a lollipop and everything else <clears throat> and and you're you're rocking right guess what you were doing algebra you didn't even realize it because this box right here is simply a placeholder okay so another way to write that in a little bit more sophisticated manner would be this x plus 3 equals 5 okay that's an algebraic equation all right and of course in algebra we learn the, the basic steps to solve equations and here we would subtract 3 from both sides of the equation we would add down and we would get x equals 2 which would be our solution but really we're kind of showing you um, uh, when you're learning algebra, we were showing you the procedures to kind of, you know, uh, solve these equations. But it's nothing really more uh, complex than what you were doing in the first grade. I mean, obviously it's more complex, but as far as the basic principles about it, is that we're trying to find the number that balances the equation. So, generally in Algebra 1, okay, and in pre-algebra, you're going to learn a couple different types of equations. Right, we learn linear equations. Linear equations are basically things that look like this: 3x minus 4 equals 12, or maybe 6x plus 9 equals x minus 5. These are linear equations. Okay. Then you learn things called systems of equations. And it's a little bit more involved. It might look like this: x plus y equals Oh, I don't know, 7 and 2x minus y equals 9. Okay, the, the, this right here, this is a system of equations. Okay, it's a type of equation. Okay, it's not linear, but it's a type of equation. And it, basically, all a system is, is two lines that cross. Okay, and we're looking for the intersection point of two lines. Okay, that that and the point that they cross is the solution to a system. Now, this isn't everything about systems. Sometimes systems don't have solutions, i.e. The, the lines represented by these equations don't cross. And this is the essence of it, okay? And by the way, if you've never taken algebra <clears throat> um, and you're like a little bit lost, you know, just uh, I would take, a, you know, take this with a little bit of grain of salt. Um, if you take an algebra, if you're gonna be taking it, you know, you, believe me, these concepts will you know really come in, come in handy. Um, you know, as far as what this video, the concepts I'm laying out is going to come in handy as far as setting up the, the big picture um, expectations of what you're going to learn. Okay, so you, you're gonna, we're going to be studying a lot of equations in algebra, linear equations, systems of equations. Another type of equations, type of equations you're going to be studying is something called quadratic equations. All right, and those things look like this, x squared minus maybe 2x minus 6 equals 0. And the idea behind there is that this is a power, okay? So you have a variable to the second power, okay? When the highest power is 2 in a particular equation. Now, I'm not going to get into, I'm not trying to teach you algebra here in 10 minutes, but this is another type of equation, quadratic equations, linear equations, systems of equations. So we have to try to figure out um, the answer to these type of things. And then we study things called functions. That's another big thing that you study in algebra. And uh, radical and rational expressions, okay? And you're like, okay, well, I'm already lost. Radical expressions are nothing more than basically square root type of things. 
and rational expressions are um, uh, fractions. Basically, they're fractions, but where the numerator and denominator are, where are you know, have variables in them. So, for example, this is a rational number, two thirds. You would know it as a fraction, but if I go x over z, that now that becomes a rational expression. So this is basically like a an algebraic fraction, if you will. Okay. So this is what we study. We study this a lot in algebra, and then we also study a lot about square roots, like the square root of x, etc. Okay. So I would say a good chunk of the I would I would say maybe like say seventy percent of what you're studying in Algebra 1 is equations, okay? The, I would, and the balance of what you're going to be studying um, would fall into the categories of inequalities. Inequalities, I'm probably messing up the spelling because I'm going fast, but that would be things like this, x is less than 3, okay? So remember, x is just some number, so what number is less than 3? Hmm, maybe like 2, right? So 2 is less than 3. So 2 would be an answer to this inequality, okay? So that's a real basic con concept of inequalities. And then, let's see here, what else would you be studying in algebra? Um, you would also be studying a lot about lines, the graph of lines, okay? So you have to learn about the xy coordinate plane, okay? So here's x, here's y, and what you do in algebra is you first learn about lines and how to graph a line, and then we start learning about the equations that make up of a line. Okay, and then we start doing some other some other things. So uh, basically, taking our linear equations and then plotting them on a graph. Okay, but uh, I would say this probably constitutes I'm probably about ninety percent, ninety five percent of what most people would study in an algebra course. But let me just wrap this up. What is algebra? Listen. Really, algebra is taking what you learned, okay, first part of your training in mathematics, okay, which is arithmetic, and then throwing in some variables, okay, throwing in some placeholders, and then you start exploring um, a lot of new, con once you have variables, now you can start looking at things called equations, and, and that's really, really central, okay, algebra is, a good chunk of it is all about solving equations. But listen, um, ho hopefully you enjoyed this video and <laughs> made some sense to you. I was trying to help you out and, and give you a good answer to what is algebra. At least, if, you know, not so general where you're like, uh, okay, I still don't get it. Hopefully I did that for you. But listen, uh, please come over to our site, algebratesthelper.com. It's a totally free resource. Um, tons of videos, tons of articles, tons of tips, everything. If you're studying algebra, you need to come on over here on a regular basis and get some uh, good solid free help. So uh, thanks for listening and have a great day.